Next on course is Abby Ladfarth. Sneaking into gate one, that's good. She'll be able to keep the speed. She knows where the fast parts of this course are. She's had some very good results. She really loves Tassin, doesn't yeah. she? She always does very well here. I think she won a... Um, no, no, she didn't. Did she win? Yeah. Yes, she did the, the junior world title. Yes, yeah. that's right. I think maybe in kayak as well. Just before the Olympics, yeah, mm -hmm. in the kayak, that's right. So <clears throat> looking here, she's still just 19 years of age. She was second here last year in the World Cup, which was, I think, one of her best results in the Senior World Cup yeah. racing. Um, and I thought last week, Lois, we saw her looking a lot stronger than we did for her first week in um, uh, Augsburg was a bit challenging for her, but she certainly showed a lot more form in Prague. Yeah, she had two 11th place finishes in Prague, mm. in canoe and in kayak, and I know she was very disappointed to miss out on those finals, so she'll be pulling here to get into the top 10, and so far it looks like she might be, might be able to do that if everything keeps going according to her plan. She just needs to stay clean. <clears throat> That's the key here, because her time is outside that of Eleanor Lilix, but uh, Eleanor, there's a gap of more than five seconds between Eleanor Lilix's time oh and the second oh, best Abby. time. Oh, oh she's gone. Uh, she can, if she doesn't... Oh, no, I was going to say. She... Pretty big loop. I think she'll be losing maybe too much time to make it into that top ten. Okay, let's see how but she we'll goes see. now. She's got to really maybe take a risk here. Yeah, we'll see if she pushes far up here. See, there's a little bit of disappointment on her. Oh. No, she's done okay, but yeah. that time is now sneaking out. Unfortunately for Evie Leapfast, she'll be disappointed. I think she would have looked at this field today and thought there is a final for the taking.